Hello Tab Nation, it's Tom and today we're going to be doing number five showcase. So we've got a few scripts here. I'm not going to really run through them. That's in showcases. I'm just kind of showing you this uh, code uh, real quick if there's anything you need to change. But I'll have videos on like if you want to actually manipulate a lot better. So let's jump into the first one. The first one is actually one I'm working on right now. I just call it weather desktop. And it basically just changes my background to match what the weather is outside. Uh, I just thought it was kind of a fun thing to do. I used to use it a lot on my work computer. Um, <clears throat> but I still use it at home from time to time. So basically what it's doing is it's checking this weather website. It's getting the information. It's finding out what, what's the weather for that day. Uh, for now, I just am going to change the variable here to equal cloudy. Just because I have that ready to go. Um, I don't have all the weather in here. I have cloudy, partly cloudy, rain, sunny, and that's it. You know, I definitely plan to add on to this with like snow, thunderstorms, all that kind of stuff. Um, but you can go ahead. All you got to do is copy and paste this, change it to equals whatever weather. And then at the end down here, you're just going to put whatever picture you want. So I'm not really going to upload the pictures uh, to YouTube. Can't really do that. Uh, so all you got to do really is, so right now it's going to your desktop right here. So it's going to weather desktop, wallpapers, and then whatever you want uh, it called. So if you just want to call it what I already have, uh, sunny PNG, you're just going to have this weather desktop. And the first time you run this, a lot of these folders will get created. So you're just going to throw the script inside the folder. And then here's where you're going to put your different things. Uh, I also have in here one called master, and that's basically if there's some weather that isn't in the code, it'll just change it to that instead. So, yeah, you know, yeah. And then just in your zip code text file here, all you gotta do is type your zip code right there, and that is it. So yeah, let's go ahead and run that. So let me get to my desktop. Here's my desktop. I'll put this over here. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Yep. And there we go. It changed it to cloudy. And it's going to check, uh, what was it, every... It checks every so often. can't remember what it is. Give me a second here. Where did I put the timer? There's a timer in here. I think it's every 15 minutes it checks what the weather is. And then... Um, yeah, oh yeah, here we go. So whatever that equals, I think it's 15 minutes or maybe it's an hour. Uh, but yeah, you can change this however often you want it to check. And this is going to be in milliseconds. Um, but I definitely expand, plan to expand outside just these four little uh, weather things that I have. So that is that one. Up next, we have pages currently in version 1.2. I have been actually talking to the guy. He's uh, slowly updating it, you know, making improvements. So like with any of these scripts, if you have an idea for an improvement or something that should probably be done differently, definitely let us know in the comments below. Uh, it definitely helps getting feedback so that we can improve these scripts and make them more user friendly. So pages 1.2 is just uh, basically it's a note taking thing. So here we got you know, we're on page one. I can type in page one test for YouTube. Eh, if I can type. As always, it's hard to see my keyboard because my mic's in the way. And then uh, we got that. So we can um, actually make it a favorite if we want. And we can just be like, uh, put it, you know, here. So now page one is one of my favorites. Uh, we can then, you know, plus and minus to kind of jump around. You know, there we are, page two. And it tells you right here what just happened for a few seconds, which is nice. Page three, we'll, let's type on page three. Page three, test for YouTube. I am Tom. Uh, update. So you update that. Now, wait. And then we'll go back to page one. Now, I did forget to push update uh, for that one. So there we go. I just updated it. Update's basically save. 
Um, but yeah, see, we can go back to page three. There's my stuff. I can clear it out. I can copy it, which sends it to the clipboard. Uh, if you want help and you're not understanding something here, there's a little checkbox here. And this is new in this version. It's really nice. You hover over stuff, the different uh, things, and it tells you what they are. And this is really cool. I thought this was a clever way to do a help page. So yeah, there's that. And then you can jump to pages a lot quicker too versus, you know, plus and minus like turning. So I can just type in one, say turn two, and there we go. And I think this uh, goes up to like 999 pages that you can do. Uh, so yeah, this is a really cool note taking system, very clean cut and everything. Uh, once again, if you have any recommendations, let us know in the comments below. And let's go on to the next one. So this is just snake written auto hotkeys and it basically plays on your desktop i thought this was obviously it's not more of a useful script it's more of a fun script but i could see myself like kind of just being at work and sneaking this onto the computer to play <laughs> so let's run that so you start out with this little gooey box here you a few little uh settings that you can change here you know the tick rate snake height all that we'll just leave it at the defaults and it's going to use your um, AWSD keys uh, to move around. So let's just go ahead and jump in and play that. Now, you're not seeing my full desktop, so I might cut out a little bit here and there. But there's the uh, little red snake. Oh, sorry. It actually uses the arrow keys. I guess I was wrong there. So, yeah. Very cool classic put into auto hotkeys. Obviously not great at this. Play this for a few seconds and then kill myself ah. all right so i'm gonna go ahead and run into myself and there we go game over that one is just a lot of fun i i, <laughs> I love playing that and seeing how far i can get because it's really cool that it plays like on your desktop that one was really cool i think it's using a gooey with the transparent background is really what it's doing and uh, just measuring out your screen Alrighty, let's move on to another one. So I don't use them very often, but using like trees in your code can be very useful. I've done it before, and honestly, I the big reason I stay away from them is because they, they can be kind of a pain to like, once you code it, edit them and all that. So this comes from a girl on Reddit that I was talking to also that created this. And she's also looking for, you know, any feedback you guys have. And this has been very helpful. I, it's probably going to make me want to use trees a little bit more often. Um, so this is the current version. Obviously, she's probably making updates to it from time to time. You know, everything's going to be credited down below. Just because I can't remember their names off the top of my head. But yeah, so it, it's pretty cool. You can just be like, uh, I don't know. Tacos. Or no, let's do food so we can add a branch uh then we can you know go to this one we can add a child we can be like uh food types of food tacos add child uh let's add another one uh pizza add child and then from there you can also go in here and say tacos well what kind beef add child now technically this is wouldn't be considered a grandchild um but same it's pretty self-explanatory uh you know what else is there uh fish tacos disgusting in my opinion <laughs> and it literally shows it to you live of what it's going to look like you can then you know edit something if you you misspelled something you can delete it if you change your mind uh and then copy is actually going to show you the code and then throw it into your clipboard so you can just throw it into you know whatever ide you're using to code and then you know reset it's just going to start all over this is amazing i mean i've always hated using tree views but this will make me actually probably use them from time to time depending on the program i'm designing so i really like this this is really clean looking and i hope you guys find it very useful i mean it it took making a tree view, you know, from 15 minutes down to like a minute, you know, depending on how big you're making it and stuff, but it's a huge time saver. It's great.
All right, and our final one today is this one, Joe DF's Quick Color Gooey. Uh, so, not much to talk about. Uh, a lot of the codes came, uh, has been done very clean, very organized, lots of comments. I was very impressed with this. So yeah, let's take a look at what this does exactly. So a lot of times you might be using like uh, pixel searches and stuff. This really helps to, you know, find like a color that you're looking for. So we can sit here and change it up. And it's, it's literally just, uh, let's see. I like that. It's like a teal kind of color. And you just say copy to clipboard. And it's going to give you that information right there. Um, let me put it in Notepad++ so it's a little easier to see what it copied. So it just gives you the code right there. That way, if you need a pixel search or something, this is an easy way to kind of do that, uh, or another way. Or if you want to color your GUIs, is probably actually, where I guess, where I would see it being used the most, is people wanting to figure out what that color is and then make their, you know, GUI background or whatever that color. All right. Uh, if you guys have a script that you found useful that I haven't covered yet, whether you made it or you just found it on the internet and use it a lot, definitely send me like a link to it or you know hit me up on discord it's in my channel information i'm happy to share like anybody's script you know a lot of people sometimes want a quick answer they don't really want to spend there and you know code 400 lines of code when somebody's already done it you know why reinvent the wheel so these videos are meant to just be kind of like here's what it does use it if you want you know share any video or uh scripts that you guys have if you have any questions about any of these or want me to kind of cover them a little bit better, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe. And we'll jump on to our last one. If you've noticed that my camera has cut out, I'm having some issues and I don't feel like restarting. So I'm just going to do audio only on this one. So this one is called Joe DF's Quick Color GUI. We'll launch that. It automatically jumps into a GUI here. And basically, you just got three dials here, red, green, blue. And you kind of just play around with the colors until you get what you want. You know, let's see. You know, I can kind of get towards it's a tabination color there. That's close enough. You can also set the values here, too, if you want. Push the arrow keys to go up and down slower. And uh, this is really good for just finding a color code for a GUI you're creating. So you can push copy to clipboard. We'll get a message box here it shows us the uh, rgb that we had and the hex number so we'll just throw that into a notepad so you can see what it got and there's that uh, color code for that that way if you want to change the gui's background color you can do that uh, you can also use it probably for other things like website creation and whatnot but i found that very helpful when uh, trying to find a color that i want for my background all right if you guys had any questions about any of the stuff I showed you or, you know, have recommendations on how to improve it, definitely let me know in the comments below. I know some of the creators are going to be actually watching the comments just to see if you guys have any good recommendations that they might want to try out. So if you haven't subscribed, definitely do that because I have videos coming out all the time teaching you automation, specifically on auto hotkeys, but sometimes I do branch out. All right, guys. See ya.